Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering what are popular cloud applications in the market, when not to use cloud computing, and also I will explain what is cloud ecosystem. Guys, I have uploaded a complete cloud computing subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First, I will explain what are popular cloud applications in the market. Guys, one of the popular cloud storage services is Google Drive. In Google Drive, we can store various kinds of files, documents, photos, and videos. And by using any device, we can open Google Drive and we can perform various operations on Google Drive. Like we can upload files, we can delete files, we can share files, etc. And second cloud storage platform is Dropbox. Guys, this Dropbox is similar to Google Drive. And this Dropbox mainly focuses on file synchronization and sharing. Guys, file synchronization is nothing but Whenever you perform any modifications on your file in Dropbox, then that file is automatically updated. That is nothing but that file is automatically saved in Dropbox. And we can also easily share files in Dropbox. And third one is Microsoft OneDrive. Guys, this Microsoft OneDrive is also famous cloud storage. That is nothing but we can store various kinds of files in Microsoft OneDrive. And we can also share files in Microsoft OneDrive. So it also supports file sharing services. Guys, this Microsoft OneDrive is online storage and it is connected to various kinds of Microsoft applications like MS Word, MS Excel, so on. For example, I will create one MS Excel document. After creating MS Office document, I can easily save it in Microsoft OneDrive. So many Microsoft applications like MS Word, MS Excel, all are connected to Microsoft OneDrive in order to save documents online. Fourth one is Amazon Web Services. Shortly, we call it as AWS. AWS provides set of tools and services for businesses to use cloud resources. Guys, many software companies will use AWS in order to use cloud resources like networks, servers, storage, etc. It provides computing power, storage and tools that company needs in order to run applications without owning physical servers. Guys, if you want to establish any company, then you need to buy servers. But purchasing servers is costly. So instead of purchasing servers, we can open AWS website and we can rent those servers, which will save our money. So AWS provides various kinds of resources like server, storage, hardware, software, etc. And fifth one is Salesforce. Guys, many companies will use Salesforce tool in order to maintain relationship with customers. Guys, Salesforce is completely marketing application. Companies will interact with customers. They will track sales and they will do marketing. All this happens in one place that is Salesforce. And sixth one is Slack. Guys, this Slack is also a cloud application. This is message app. In software companies, many employees will communicate with each other in this Slack app. They will chat each other and they will share files regarding their project. And another famous app is Zoom. Guys, this Zoom app is also a cloud-based application. In order to conduct online meetings, video calls, webinars, and team meetings, we will use this Zoom app. And the eighth application is Office 365. Guys, normally if you want to work with MS Office, like MS Word, MS Excel, Definitely, we need to install that software in our system. But this Office 365 is an online version of Microsoft Office. Like we can work with MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint in online. So there is no need of installing Microsoft Office. Just we need to open internet and we can work with documents. Like we can create MS Word documents, Excel documents and PowerPoint online itself. And we can also share those documents with others in internet. And ninth one is Adopt Creative Cloud. Guys, this Adopt company will provide various kinds of softwares related to photo editing and video editing. And that one of the famous application is Photoshop. After editing photos or videos in Adobe application, we can save our photos and videos online in Adobe Creative Cloud. So whenever you edit photos or videos, we can save them in Adobe Creative Cloud, which is online. And tenth one is Netflix. This Netflix is video streaming service. By using any device, we can watch movies and TV shows online. Anytime. Just we need internet connection. That's it. So this Netflix is also a cloud-based platform. Next, I will explain when not to use cloud computing. Guys, there are some situations where cloud computing may not be best choice. These are some of the examples. And the first one is sensitive data and privacy concerns. If your company handles high sensitive data like personal health care records, financial data or government information and privacy is top priority for your company, then storing data in cloud may not be a good choice for your company. 
to your cloud providers meet high security standards, then you can store your data in cloud. But if your cloud provider do not meet high security standards, then storing data in cloud is not a good choice. Second one is lack of internet access. Guys, if you are in an area where internet is very slow, then using cloud can be problematic because cloud services require stable internet connection. Without good internet connection, you cannot able to access your data or applications in cloud. And third one is high cost for long term use. Yes, for example, I want to establish one small company. So I need to purchase servers, hardware, software and storage. Instead of purchasing all of them, you can render them in cloud with very less cost. Cloud is cheaper, but if you keep on increasing storage and using lot of services, then you need to pay huge amount. So in cloud, you need to pay high cost for long term use. And fourth one is compliance and regularity requirements. Guys, some companies has very strict regulations regarding where to store data and how to store data. For example, if you consider healthcare, banking and legal organizations, they will store data in particular format in particular location. If your cloud provider do not accept your request standards, then cloud is not good choice for storing sensitive data. And fifth one is limited control over infrastructure. Guys, for example, I will rent so many servers in cloud. I am not owner of cloud. Just I am taking servers for rent. Your cloud provider is owner of cloud. For example, if you want to configure hardware or software in cloud, then you need to ask to cloud provider. Cloud provider may provide or may not provide required service. Infrastructure is completely handled by cloud provider. And sixth one is performance concerns, high latency. Yes, for example, if your application needs high speed processing, that is nothing but if your application want to be very fast, if you place such applications in cloud, there may be performance issues. For example, if you consider gaming applications, scientific research applications, placing them in cloud is not a good choice because they need to work very fast. If you place them in cloud, there may be performance issues. And seventh one is vendor lock-in. Yes, for example, AWS company is one vendor, Google company is one vendor. My complete data is stored in AWS. Now I want to move my complete data to Google Cloud, but this AWS company will not accept data transfers to other clouds. If you want to perform data transfers, then cloud is not best option for you. And the eighth one is small scale projects. Guys, if you are working in very small project, like storing few files or creating very small application, then there is no need of using cloud services. Just you can create them in your personal computer. In all these cases, choosing cloud is not best option for you. Next, I will explain what is cloud ecosystem. A cloud ecosystem is like a team working together to provide cloud services. This team includes parts like software, hardware, storage and networks, as well as people and companies involved in making everything work. Guys, cloud ecosystem is nothing but team working together in order to provide cloud services. In cloud, there are various kinds of employees available. Some employees will handle software. So this team is software team and some employees will handle hardware, some employees will handle storage and some employees will handle network. For example, I am cloud user, I want 1 TB of storage. So this is storage team responsibility to provide me storage. Guys, not only employees, there are various kinds of companies involved in this cloud. These companies will invest money and they will take profits. So software, hardware, storage, network. Employees and as well as companies, we call this entire team as cloud ecosystem. Because of this team, we are getting cloud services. Guys, there are three main players involved in this cloud ecosystem. They are, first one is cloud service users. Shortly, we call them as CSUs. These are people or organizations that use cloud services. Think of them as customers of the cloud. For example, a business using a cloud app to save files or store data. A person using a cloud service like Google Drive to store photos. Guys, cloud service users are nothing but they are users who are using cloud services. For example, I'm user. I'm using Google Cloud in order to store my files. So I'm cloud service user. For example, I have one small company and I'm storing my company's data in cloud. So my company is also considered as cloud service user. So customers who are using cloud services. We call them as cloud service users. And second player is cloud service providers. These are companies that create and maintain cloud services like Amazon or Microsoft. 
guys for example if you consider aws website this aws is cloud based website developed by amazon company this aws will provide various kinds of services like storage software hardware servers etc so companies which provide services to cloud service users we call those companies as cloud service providers so this aws company is cloud service provider because this aws company will provide services to cloud service users guys not only aws google microsoft azure all these companies will provide services to users so we call them as cloud service providers and third one is cloud service partners shortly we call them as csns these are people or companies that helps cloud service providers improve their cloud services for example they might help build a new features or add extra services guys cloud service partners will help cloud service providers to build a new features or services and this cloud service providers will provide services to cloud service users so these are three main players in cloud ecosystem this is diagram content provider and application developers these both are cloud service partners they will improve new features and services in cloud and cloud service providers like amazon aws microsoft they will provide various kinds of services to cloud service users services can be either software as a service platform as a service or infrastructure as a service and cloud service user can be either single person or entire company 